dog disappears um and then josh freaks out and he thinks that uh taylor the 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 homeowner has um basically kidnapped his dog for some reason uh because he's mad at them and so they they fuck up and they confront him too early um you know and it creates this like huge there was already tension there and that just uh, escalates at worse um but meanwhile we're thinking like he's you know taylor is the one who's bugged the house and who's watching them and it was basically fucking with them because he's a weirdo you know what i mean when yeah. it, uh when it turns out that the whole time uh he had no idea and that it, it was um this uh former what would you say like uh att- like whoever rented it before um duplicated the the house keys and bugged everything while he was staying there so that way he could spy on whoever comes comes next you know and um there's like this underlining thing and i want to get your opinion on it um yes he was spying on them and everything the the actual villain not taylor because he had the um not only the cameras in the showers and everywhere uh he also had um mics right so he could listen in to their to their conversations the entire time that they were there so yeah. he knew everything that was going on as far as the the cheating um you know as far as michelle going along with the they thought that they murdered taylor right and they were just like we gotta get rid of the body because josh can't go to jail for the rest of his life and she's like whatever do what you gotta do you know what i mean so keep in mind the killer knows all of this so was he punishing them because of like a moral compass thing that's my like uh that's my theory is is there some kind of the way that Anton Chigurh has like his like little code book, or Dexter has his like code, you know, his rules? Does this yeah. guy have some unspoken rules? We know nothing, virtually nothing, about this guy, but it seems like that's the mythos that they're trying to um, develop in this: is that everybody is guilty of something um, in this that 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 dies. And then, uh, and that's why at, at the end of the film, you know, they think that their dog has fallen off the edge or, or something, you know, he's, he's been killed somehow and Reggie comes back, <laughs> you know, and Reggie, the dog is literally the only one who's not guilty of something who literally did nothing wrong and he survived. So he survived. Yeah. That's a, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. I didn't think of, about it that way, but yeah, he could very well have been uh, punishing them for being such, I mean, yeah, such shitheads. Except for maybe Allison Bree's character, uh, Michelle. But I mean, she she could have went to the cops and, and she didn't. So maybe that was his, his reasoning. Yeah, that's that was my point is I think that that was, uh, and she gets it, a pretty brutal death. It's off screen, but when you see the aftermath, you're like, damn, that that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, that that would be have to be the only thing is that um, she went along with them conspiring to 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 hide this this body, which yeah. is which is crazy that they that they're all just like it's that feels like I know what you did last summer the way you know because what is it Mina and Charlie don't want to go to that they find the cameras like pretty pretty fast you know and then they keep it a secret because they <laughs> they like they uh cheated on their their um significant others who are with them at the airbnb so to protect their status they're like no we can't call the cops or this whoever's recording us or taylor can leak the footage and then you know josh and michelle will find out so they put <laughs> They disregard their own safety and they're like, oh, we'll just forget it. We'll just pretend we don't know, pretty much, which is insane. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's, the, that's the crazy thing is that they had so many hours to actually call the cops and stop all of this from happening. But their own 
selfishness gets in the way of that, you know, and they pay the ultimate price pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that, like you said, it, it, it could have been done and over with if they would have just went to the cops, but if they didn't want to be outed as cheaters and, and assholes, so they decided to keep it, keep it under wraps. Was the beginning, um, Mina, who is, uh, who is the only, I think, non, uh, white character with her, with the group, um, she tries to book the same place, same time, everything's duplicate, she gets denied by Taylor, and then Charlie, like the standard white guy, does the same, everything the same, and gets immediately approved. Um, and I really liked how they kind of, they bring up that, uh, you know, those kind of social issues that are a real problem in today's uh, climate specifically too. They they t- they try to tackle it. <clears throat> and it's in a subtle way. It doesn't, I feel like it's not beating you over the head or anything. But um, it's something that I wanted to point out that I felt was pretty crazy is that Mina obviously feels uncomfortable by this guy um taylor when he shows up and he he, um he's showing them the house and stuff and making smart remarks and and she loses it at the end and 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 basically calls him out like hey i booked this and you denied me and then charlie here does the same exact thing and you approve him like why is that you know and she right there she creates some tension but if that was me, or I feel like if we were with her, we would have backed her up. And everybody there in that scenario is just like, oh, like not um, standing up for their friend when they know that this guy is, you know, a like a shitty person. I think it's like um, it's very telling of the characters and kind of maybe foreshadowing how, how shitty they are <laughs> yeah since they didn't come come to to her defense and then it's kind of you know taking a look at like real life things and 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 it is very s- subtle like you said but it kind of is very um if you've been in that position before it's it's really it's awkward and it, it sucks to be in that position where the the people around you don't don't feel the same way and they don't they don't back you up especially if you are the only you know person of color there so yeah that, that, that whole scene was was done very well now that we've talked about most of the plot since it's pretty simple um let's talk about like how everybody died <laughs> <laughs> so the first one there's uh the first one is I believe, well, technically, it's Taylor, um, the owner yeah. of, of, of the, uh, the homeowner, he comes to fix, um, the hot tub is messed up, and I think Michelle, Allison Bree's character is, she's, like, high on Molly, but she's, like, the only one high because she waited <laughs> to party, like, the next day, and then no one else wants to do it, which is hilarious, she's, she's great, um, Especially when she when she's on the on the Molly, something that I guess she she says that uh, Franco had her actually do Molly so that she would know what it actually felt like for the to just (laughs) get to do them. (laughs) I don't know if you know, but they're married. I guess I didn't know that. Oh, what the fuck, really? Yeah, you dropping salon facts mid episode. That's crazy. So she calls him in to fix the hot tub, not knowing that Mina and Charlie know that there's the cameras and they think that he did it, right? So then they're freaking out because, you know, um, Michelle has unknowingly called this guy who they think is being a stalker to fix the hot tub or whatever. So now they have to face him, which they do. He fixed the hot tub. Everything is going fine. And then... Um, Again, Mina, in this tense situation, loses it. And she's like, hey, Taylor, can I show you something? And she kind of calls him out, takes him to the bathroom, shows him the um, the small camera that's hidden in in the um, shower head. And and he's like, what the fuck are you trying to pull? Basically, like, he thinks that she's trying to scam him. And they get into this little tussle. And uh, Taylor's like, I'll call the cops for you, you know, and they start kind of wrestling around each other in the bathroom. And Josh 
you know, turns around. He's outside the house. He looks into the bathroom and sees what looks like Taylor manhandling his girlfriend, essentially. So he runs in and he throws um, Taylor basically in the, into the bathtub and just starts wailing on him. And t keep in mind, Taylor's like an older gentleman, you know. I'm pretty sure one would have put him down and he would have he would have been fine, you know. But this guy, Josh, just is seeing red and and it's it's crazy. So then Taylor's unconscious. Everybody, I think, goes outside uh, for some reason. And then that's when our real, we finally see like our real uh, killer sneaks into the bathroom and suffocates Taylor, who was still alive. And then just leaves. So then that makes um, our our group now think that they that Josh is the one that killed him, you know. And then again, to try to cover their own tracks, they're like, "We can't call the cops because Josh just killed him, and he's gonna go to prison. So we gotta do." do something you know what i mean and then michelle's immediately like what the fuck do you mean we got to do something like what is there to do there's nothing to do and they're they like well we're gonna like who's to say like he, he had been drinking before he came over here who's to say he didn't like fall off the cliffside you know what i mean insinuating that uh they dumped the body and make it look like he had fell into the ocean pretty much and that's when it kind of, like I was saying, it turns into I Know What You Did Last Summer, where they're, like, taking this but this this body, and they, they throw it down, uh, or they try to throw it down off the cliffside, and it just, like, falls on this, like, rock, and he's just stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's just stuck there, like, in the worst position, and they're like, God damn it, you know, like, somebody's gonna find this. And so there's this huge thing where they try to get rocks for so long and they're trying to like knock the body loose to fall into to the ocean. They're unsuccessful, you know what I mean? And then Josh, like a crazy lunatic, goes uh, down the the cliffside to um, to basically knock the body free, which he is successful in doing. Um uh, I don't know how you wouldn't, like, nobody was like, hey, we'll get some rope, or, you know what I mean? Like, something a little safer? I don't understand why they just didn't leave the body there. Like, they wanted to make it seem like he fell, like he was drunk, he stumbled over. So, uh, just leave it there, instead of going through all that trouble? <laughs> yeah, because if he had fell, and it's, uh, you know, I mean, they probably wouldn't have been able to, uh, to prove, like, what actually happened, um... But, yeah. but then they they fuck up when they throw the rocks. They're like, I don't know if you saw, but like one rock just like hits him in the face, all fucked up, and <laughs> creating all this other damage for when they do find the body. That's not going to add up. <laughs> so it's crazy. So yeah, the first technical kill is is Taylor, who was an asshole, but he wasn't. Uh, he was innocent as far as the crimes and stuff, it seems like. Um, I also wondered in an alternate theory that he talks about how he is just watching the home. He's he's like the home, the caretaker for the home, but it's actually his brother's home. So I'm wondering, like, would it have been his brother? But then his brother wouldn't have, I hope not have killed him that easily you know what i mean without any explanation or anything i mean i like you said i would hope it was in his brother because he just fucking offed him in the bathroom <laughs> so fast so so fast too. um but yeah that's a good point i mean i think they left it open for for obvious reasons yeah um but yeah because he says um he, he was like, oh, I don't have any problem with dogs. It's my brother that has that that role or whatever. So I was like, well, there's this, like, brother that's super mysterious. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going down the line of, of the kills. Um, so then I believe Allison Bree's character Michelle is next. So this guy, the, the, the killer, is super deranged. So while everybody's outside dumping the body, he knows that Michelle is inside kind of pouting and and she's super upset and and so he decides let me play the 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 sex tape that i have of 
um, her, you know, Michelle's boyfriend and her friend 